Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Gabriele and welcome to my channel. Today is about yesterday latest stream of Amarok. He did some polishing with AI, with fishing schools, Teranodon, Dinosuchus. He polished, uh, he polished them all a little bit more. They will look a little bit more realistic. For example, now with this Dinosuchus just catching that fish, we can see that fish, the dead fish in his mouth is actually more realistic than it was before. Before we could see the fish vertical, like uh, it was uh, plastic. Now instead, it got something more realistic to look like. It looks like uh, actually dead fish where uh, the rigging animation, uh, they are a lot better than the dinosaurs just swallow it. And well, all in all, uh, it looks a lot better than it was before. I don't know if you remember Amarok's latest stream. Now, uh, dinosaurs, apart from being an apex predator, because it will take about eight hours to grow. So once you are in the water, you will be an apex actually, or apex-like, if you don't see any apex at the moment. Maybe on land it will not be uh, considered an apex or almost an apex, but in water it will actually be the uh, king, the, the, main, uh, the main boss, let's say, because you cannot take down an eight hours growth dinosaur with a small Uteraptor with a Carnotaurus because the one bite and you are dead. Basically, now you can see the the Nontosaurus animation looks more real, more realistic than it looked before on the Amarox latest stream. So all developers have done a pretty good job mm, doing improving the realism in this game. Now it is bugged. Okay, I know it uh, could have looked better, but once it grabbed it, once it snatched the Tenonto from the water, it looked uh, a lot more realistic than it was on the previous version. Now, uh, Denosuchus will be able to walk underwater, to lurk underwater, and then launch, attack at, at the prey, and actually, if you sink well your bite, you basically launch and then bite, you can drag your prey in water. Now, Denosuchus weighs about 8 tons, 8,000 kilograms. It means that even a tiny fall like that from that platform, and even by falling in water, you take ton of damage, a lot of damage. Mm, Denosuchus uh, will be like uh, one of the most play played uh, dinosaurs, in my opinion. Now we can see it here. It just uh, hit that Pteranodon that stopped flying. Now it is still bugged. So the, the Pteranodon artificial intelligence can still be bugged a little bit, but the animations all in all are a lot better. Now, with the Pteranodon in his mouth, he was able to swallow it whole, uh, look, giving the, the game a pretty realistic uh, look. And here we have a Pteranodon. Pteranodon, I don't know how long it will take to grow. If you have an idea, please let me know in the comment section below because I ignore it. I know that Denosuchus will take eight hours, eight long hours from hatchling, juvenile, sub-adult and adult. So it will be an uh, apex on, in water, on land, maybe not, maybe yes. I haven't played it yet and I can't wait to play it actually. Now, update three. Uh, will very likely become out as a beta. So if Evrima, the AI Evrima is a beta, now we're gonna have uh, to choose Evrima beta and update three as a beta for the update in Evrima. If you want to play uh, Denosuchus or Pteranodon. Amarok here is testing the Dinosaurus AI, packing uh, Dinosaurus artificial intelligence. Very likely that will be the game style, the play style of many players that are playing Pteranodon. Mm, by the way, uh, they are trying to implement the beta before fully releasing update number three because update number three is going to be a huge change of gameplay. It's adding two new uh, gameplays, two new play styles, one underwater and one flying in the air. So uh, it has a uh, plenty of bugs, a lot of bugs, and even Hypno say that uh, once it is fully released, they will do uh, plenty of hot fixes plenty of uh, patches over patches to fix bugs and glitches very likely. So that's why they are opting for a beta. So before update number three will actually be released officially, we can play Terandon or Denosuchus by opting for a beta of update three. Now this is uh, just a rumor, 
it may be true, it may be, uh, well, actually developers said it, but they may choose to do it or not. We will see that in the future. Now, uh, we have seen the Pteranodon once in flight. You basically consume stamina only when you uh, go up and up in the sky. If you go down, you won't consume stamina unless you are uh, on a free fall and you have uh, some stamina left then. Let's say you hit a target and you start your free fall. Then you have to consume a little bit of stamina to get your flight back. We're gonna check it here. By the way, I think that uh, they have added some uh, sprint option for the Pteranodon flying where you consume a uh, little stamina. For example, now in my opinion, it is uh, sprinting the Pteranodon. It's going faster than before. So they have done, uh, they have reworked some animations for the Pteranodon maybe. They have uh, improved it. Now we can say uh, full. I thought it was falling. Well, that's basically when you open uh, your uh, your wings, it's with the Z button, Amrok said, you're consuming stamina, but you float in midair on a certain uh, point on the ground. So let's say you see your prey below you too late, but you can stop and consume stamina, a lot of stamina, but you will eventually stop on that point and decide to fall down. Now, the, this was the free fall I was talking about. At the price of consuming a little stamina, you can get your flight back. Now, if you don't have any more stamina, you're basically dead because that is a free fall. We can see this Pteranodon AI that just free fell on the ground, was fallen and dead, I guess. I think so at least. No, we don't get to see it. Well, it was all for today. If you liked it, please make sure to share it. Let me know what you think about it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing my channel. Thank you so much and bye-bye.